I'm way back to learning Photoshop and here, day 11. Let me show you how to create triangles. There's a triangle tool and you will find it right here where the rectangle tool is. Just right click on it to open a toolbox. If you see a different tool here, for example, the polygon tool, you can also right click on it and then left click on the triangle tool to select it. Let us just drag one, left click drag on the canvas and as long as you don't release it, you can still transform it. It will be given the last style that was used. Let me change the stroke right here. You can make that dotted, dashed, solid. Right next to it to the left is the thickness of the stroke. Let me make that 5 pixels. You can change the color for the stroke. And at the top left here, there's a sign for none. So if you don't want to have a stroke, select that. You can also set it to none by simply making the thickness 0 pixels. So then it doesn't matter what color your stroke is, it will be gone also. With the fill, you can change the color for the filled area. And by left clicking here, you get your color picker and you can choose from more colors. Keep in mind, as with all shapes, you can create that in three different forms, shape, path and pixels. What you usually want to have is a shape. I'm going to talk about paths and pixels in a future tutorial. Let us delete this. It's on its own layer. I create a new one. And now I hold shift while I drag and this gives us a triangle with a fixed aspect ratio. So you can't really transform it anymore, make it thicker or thinner. But if you release shift, you can do that. Another short key that you can currently use is alt. Because by default, you left click drag and then the triangle will be generated from the point where you've clicked. And when you hold alt, this point where you've clicked will be the center of your triangle. You could call this the origin point. And this is what the Alt key does. It changes it to the center point of the triangle. What you can also see is both triangles are on different layers here. So triangle one, triangle two layer. Let me delete them. And this is done by default. So I create a new layer. It gets the triangle one layer. Click create a second one. It gets the triangle two layer. But this only because by default right here, new layer is active. You can also combine shapes, subtract them. I'm on triangle two layer. So this combines these triangles. Let me switch to triangle one. It combines these. What's also interesting for beginners is here W and H. This is the width and the height of the triangle. Let me delete the ones that we've got. I'll left click drag to create a new one. And as long as this layer and the triangle tool both are active, as long as this is the case, we can adjust with an height right here for it. We make that 500 and maybe 800, but 800 is way too big. We go down to 250. And you can always go back to transforming it. Just activate the layer, activate the triangle tool. Then you can see the bounding box and you can adjust it. One more thing that's interesting for beginners, I would say, is the properties menu. You can see that on the right, properties change depending on what layer is active. So this would be for layer zero. For triangle one, we have the appearance option and a transform option. And here we can set most of these values again, for example, height. X and Y is for the position. So you don't have to use the move tool to move it around. You can also do that numerically here. And then there's an angle option down here for rotating it. Appearance gives you yet again full stroke and the stroke style, stroke thickness. What I haven't talked about is this curve option right here. Left click drag on it and it gives you rounded corners. If you can't see the properties menu, just go to window and click on properties. And this is how you can create triangles in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.